Up until now, no material has been able to conduct current with no resistance at such high temperatures. Researchers at the Max Planck Institute for Chemistry in Mainz and the Johannes Gutenberg University Mainz observed that hydrogen sulfide becomes superconductive at minus 70 degrees Celsius when the substance is placed under a pressure of 1.5 million bar. This corresponds to half of the pressure of the Earth's core. With their high pressure experiments, the researchers in Mainz have thus not only set a new record for superconductivity their findings have also highlighted a potential new way to transport current at room temperature with no loss. For many solid-state physicists, superconductors that are suitable for use at room temperature are still a dream. Up until now, the only materials known to conduct current with no electrical resistance and thus no loss did so only at very low temperatures. Accordingly, special copper ceramics took the leading positions in terms of transition temperature the temperature at which the material loses its resistance the record for a ceramic of this type is roughly minus 140 degrees Celsius at normal air pressure and minus 109 degrees Celsius at high pressure in the ceramics a special unconventional form of superconductivity occurs for conventional superconductivity temperature Temperatures of at least minus 234 degrees Celsius have so far been necessary. A team led by Mikkel Aramets, head of a working group at the Max Planck Institute for Chemistry, working in collaboration with the researchers at Johannes Gutenberg University Mainz has now observed conventional superconductivity at minus 70 degrees Celsius in hydrogen sulfide. To convert the substance, which is a gas under normal conditions, into a superconductor the scientists did however have to subject it to a pressure of 1.5 megabar, as they describe in the latest edition of the science magazine Nature.